What's up, Gita fam? It's your girl Mika, and I'm back with another video. Okay, so welcome. I am Prophetess Tamika. Welcome to Prophetess Tamika's Kingdom Thinking. So, I was, uh, you know, like I said, y'all, I ended up going to a uh, funeral today. And um, I was sitting there, and when it got time for the eulogy, uh, eulogy is when, you know, the, 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 the man that is, the preacher that is appointed gets up and gets to speak, you know, the word, right? The word of God or whatever. He had to minister to the people, right? Okay, so it was some things that I noticed, you know, and I try my best, y'all, not to um, be, you know, uh, some people want to say judgmental. I'm not being judgmental at all, you guys, but when you have the Holy Ghost down on the inside of you, and the true, hallelujah, the spirit of God burns within your spirit. It's burning down in your soul. You can tell when people have actually spent time with God and when they have the Holy Ghost. And when they're just up there talking, you know, they're just talking the scripture. You can tell. I, mean, I don't know about this. I can tell. Hallelujah. I can tell when it's just talking no fire. Ain't no fire. And that is not scripture. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of preachers that's out there who have been in the ministry, been in this walk for years, and the fire have went out. Either it went out or they never got it. My thing is this. When you get saved, it's more to it than just saying I'm saved. You got to have the Holy Ghost. The Bible speaks of this, you guys. You got to have the fire. You got to have the Holy Ghost and the fire. The Bible says the anointing is what breaks the yokes. All for people, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Ghost power. The anointing is what breaks the yokes. This world is aching. It is aching and it is thirsty for the real authentic power of the Holy Ghost. And people are just getting up and speaking and has no power. There has no anointing. I want to know where the anointing is. Glory to God. I'm trying to... Not to get a little vex, but I'm just saying, y'all, where is it? Like, the world is hungry. I'm so tired of, oh, my God, of these watered-down <sighs> preachers. You know, they, they, what are you doing? Are you, or have you been really called to it? Now, my thing is this, if this shoe don't fit you, don't wear it. But hey, if it hits you, then oh well. Say out and ask God for forgiveness, repent, follow your needs, and ask for the authenticity of the Holy Spirit. Because the world needs it. Hallelujah. Let me just let me just get into um the, the word. So people won't think I'm just spurring out whatever. No, let me get into the word and let me read to you what the word says about having the Holy Ghost and the fire. Okay? Which God welcome that his he made his ministers a flame of fire. Hallelujah. To break the yokes, to cast out demons. Glory to God. When people are sitting in the midst and they're packing all these demons and evil spirits, when you get up to speak, the devil should tremble. Hallelujah. He should run for the exit when you get up to speak. And if you're getting up ice cold, glory to God, sit down. Because you're not helping. Huh? Glory to God. You're not helping. You're hurting. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord, thy God. I felt this burning in my spirit, y'all, when I got home. I couldn't even do that. I had to release this word because the word needs to be heard. Listen, it's no time in these last days to be running around without the Holy Spirit. You got to have it. It is a defense mechanism that from the Holy Kingdom, from God, to keep us, to keep us safe, to keep you protected. Hallelujah. And to help bring out others. If you don't have that, you're dead. The Bible says that the body, the, a body without the spirit is dead. A church without the spirit is dead. That's the yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, let's get to it. Come on, let's get to it because I don't want this, this, this video to be too long. Here we go. Um, where I'm going to? Where I'm at? Here I am. Okay. Um, Hebrews 1 and 7. Okay, we're going to Hebrews 1 and 7 because I, 
I like to back it up with the word so people won't think, oh, she just up there talking. Da, 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 da. No, let me back it up with the word. Hebrews 1 and 7. Hey, feel free to stop this video, pause and go get your Bibles and get, and get in it. Um, if not, I do encourage you to look these, spirit, these scriptures up on your own. I encourage you to do so. Please, seek him for yourself. Have a intimate relationship with the, my Heavenly Father, with our Heavenly Father. Yeah, I'm so, you know, personal with him. I call him mine because he is mine. But our Heavenly Father. Anyway, let's get into it. Now I got hot. Let me turn this heat off. Okay, so... Chapter 1, verse 7, he says here, he says, and of the angels, he said, who make it his angels spirits, Jesus make a spirit, he said, and his ministers a flame of fire. That's the word. He make them a flame of fire. Okay, y'all, also, let's go, if that ain't enough, I got some more for you, hold on. Let me go to um, Matthew 3 and 11. We're going to go to Matthew 3 and 11, hallelujah, here we go. Matthew, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 4 and 11. No, Matthew 3 and 11. Like I said first, Matthew 3 and 11. It says, I indeed baptize you with water. That's what John was saying. Baptize you with water unto repentance, right? But, here we go. But that come, but he that come after me, talking about Jesus. That's what we were talking about. That's what John talking about. It's mightier, mighty, mighty, mightier, mightier, mightier than, than I. He's mighty, mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. And he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. They separate, y'all. Learn how to divide the word truth. The Holy Ghost and fire. Glory to God. Okay. Now. Uh, whose fan is in the his hands and he who thirdly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garden. Okay, but he will burn up the shelf and with the accoutrement fire. Okay, now right here, he baptized us with, with the Holy Ghost and with the fire, y'all. Huh? You cannot be doing a work for the Lord without it. And I hear the I hear the Holy Spirit telling me it's bringing to my mind about when Jesus left and and, and the hundred and twenty went into the upper room. They end up getting who glory to God. The a weed came in and he filled them with the Holy Ghost. And as he filled them with the Holy Ghost, the spirit of tongues took over them and they came out speaking unknown languages, which is other languages that we ain't never heard of, but they real languages. The people that speaking glory to God, and they was endowed with the Holy Spirit, and that's when he. He sunk them out, you know what I'm saying, to go and witness the gospel and tell the truth because he had to give them a keeper. He had to give them a covenant. He had to give them the holy, the power to defeat the devil, which is the Holy Ghost and with fire. Hallelujah, because the fire, the anointing, y'all, is what breaks the yokes. If you are out there ministering and you have no fire, you need to go get it. You need to either sit down or go get it. Go get the fire. Glory to God. Because now you're just, you 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 have uh, nothing. I mean, what are you doing? Huh? Because anybody can get up, y'all. And I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm so serious right now. Please, please take this, this, this word in love. I am saying that when you get up to speak, that should be something stirred in your belly. You should be able to get up and bring the fire with you. When you walk in the building, when you come into the church house, it should be something on you that make the whole demon shake in the room, glory to God. And if it ain't on you, ha, my Lord, I don't know, I think I'm about. if it is not on you, my God, then you need to go get it because you cannot break yokes. You cannot free people. You cannot give them liberty without it. Hallelujah. It's the presence of God all over you. My God, the, 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 the Holy Ghost is what let is what is what sits and rests and lets you know that He's your comforter. Hallelujah. That God is backing you. I, I can get up, anybody can get up and, and you know I'm saying like I got saved five you know years ago. And you know what I'm saying I'm just you know, you know. Now is there is there is there a point in your life where you can get the Holy Ghost and lose it? Yes. Yes. It is. It's a point in your life where you can get the Holy Ghost and you can lose it. How can I lose it, Prophetess Tamika? By not doing what you're supposed to do. Stand up under the uh, face of God, seeking Him, fasting, praying, standing in them secret places. And then all of a sudden, something, them corner out of these things get attached to you. You get to acting more and more like the world. The Holy Ghost is not going to stay where they're sin. It's going to leave. 
It don't stay. See, I, I talked about the Holy Ghost in one of my old videos. It is, it is not your friend. It is a comforter, yes, but it's also a judge. It lets you know where you're messing up at. It lets you know where you need to get right at. And when you don't, it will leave you. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do to stay in connected with God, the Holy Ghost is a, a friend of God, right? It is a best friend to God. It is loyal to God. And as long as you are part of God, it is a part of you when you ask for it. But when you move away from God, it moves away from you. It's not going to stay. Glory to God. So if you had it once upon a time, and now, you know, where's the fire in your life? Is what I want. If it ain't showing up, it's gone. You need to go back and get it. You need to fall back on your face and get it. Glory to God. You need to repent for whatever you got going on, and you need to go get it. Glory to God. Because the people in the land need it. Hallelujah. They need the fire. Glory to God. To break these jokes off of them. The spirit of depression, suicide, homosexuality, uh, gossip, backbiting, deceitfulness, lust, Jezebel. So, hallelujah. They need you. They need the fire to shake it loose. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. The earth should shake the demons uh, to tremble when you walk in. Hallelujah. You should be on fire for God. And if you're not, it's time for you to get there. Woo! This is a war cry. To the warriors. It's time to become on fire for God. My God today. Woo, hallelujah. The Bible, it, 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 it. The Lord Jesus, he, he recommended. He is mandatory, y'all. It's mandatory. Hmm? You, you cannot have a ministry. You cannot have a, a uh, assignment. Huh? Without the Holy Spirit and the fire. Huh? Glory to God. Because it keeps you and protects you. And it, 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 it helps you be safe. The devil knows who he can mess with and who he can't. Glory to God. And it's the anointing. It's God. It's the fire. It's the Holy Spirit. Huh? I remember, I, 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 and I'm paraphrasing y'all, is a story in the Bible about when Apostle Paul, you know, he had Jesus on him, so he was casting out demons and making demons leave. But I remember it was a man who walked into a band that was full of devils and gonna say, I cast you out in the name of Apostle Paul, God. They looked at that demon, that man before them demons looked at him and said, Okay, uh, Stephen, I know, I mean, Apostle Paul, I know, but who are you? And they whooped him all the way back to where he came from. You can't get out here in this world and don't have no fire and get to play with these demons. These demons will tear you up. I'm telling you that now. So, they, you got to have it, y'all. That's this the whole purpose of this video. Please, please, please. It's more than just getting saved and saying I'm saved. It's more than just getting baptized. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Lord, I, I ask you for forgive me for my sins. Heavenly Father, I beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. Boom, I'm saved. Now I go and I get baptized in the name of Jesus. Boom. But get on your knees and ask for the Holy Ghost. Hmm? Until the spirit of the tongues come over you, until you feel that burning in you, until you got the fire on you. Glory to God. Get on your knees and ask for it because you can't make it without it. Glory to God. And I, this came because I was in a service and I felt no fire. I saw no fire. It was dead. It was dry. It has no anointing all on it. Glory to God. I'm going to speak it. Huh? You got to have it to make it in this world today, glory to God. So I encourage you, y'all, that if you are saved, glory to God, welcome to the kingdom. If you're saved, take your five foot of the precious Holy Ghost. If this is your first time here, hey, if you have not asked for the Holy Ghost, please get it. These, this message is for those who do not have it. Not those that got it, but those that do not have it. It's for those that do not have it and those that don't have it anymore. You had it, but then you lost it because you ain't do what you're supposed to do. Okay, so my thing is, y'all, make sure you stay lit, huh, in the Holy Ghost, in God, make, not in the Word, but in God, make sure you stay lit, make sure your lamp is lit, make sure your candle is lit, make sure, and I ain't talking about just no look out, I'm talking about a blowtorch blaze, make sure you're hot, hallelujah, glory to God, because the Bible says, uh, if you're cold or lukewarm, we're going to spit you out. So make you keep continue to be hot, y'all, with the Lord. Glory to God. So I hope this bless somebody today. I love y'all so much, so much, so much. This love, this word comes with love. I just want to bring awareness. I want you to be thinking about that. When you walk into a place, it's supposed to be lit. The, the leader, especially. Whoever's a part of that church, they supposed to be on fire. And if they ain't, something ain't right. Because they need to be on fire. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, so I'm gonna sorry y'all sending a message. Okay, so I love y'all so much. Be blessed. Be 
Oh, continue to cover pain with power, fear with faith, and lust with love. Because over here on in, over here at the Kingdom Thinking with Prophet Tamika, we cover all things ungodly with things that are godly. We continue to stay watchful and prayed up, saints of God. I love y'all. Talking about the words, I salute you. Bye-bye.